Hello everyone, now we're going to do our science lesson for Tuesday, May 26th. You will need your science book and a piece of paper or your notebook. So let's get our paper ready first. At the top, you will need to label it. Science, chapter five, lesson five, and the short date. Pause the video if you need a minute to write it down. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start in the book and start the lesson. Okay, last week we were talking about food chains. So lesson five is on page 144. How do living things get food in a marsh? There are food chains in a marsh. A marsh is a wetland environment. Tall grass grows in a marsh. The grass uses energy from sunlight to make food. The cricket eats the grass for food. Snap, the cricket bites the grass. Okay, so the food chain starts with the tall grass. The tall grass Built, gets its energy and food from the sun. So then the cricket eats the grass. What do you think is going to eat the cricket? Let's see who's on the next page. <gasps> Ribbit. Ribbit. The frog will catch and eat the cricket. The hungry frog eats the cricket for food. Okay, let's go to number one. What does the cricket eat? Okay, remember it said the beginning of the food chain in the marsh? The cricket eats the tall grass. It says right here, the cricket eats the grass for food. Okay, so let's write number one. I'll zoom it in so you can see better. It said, what does the cricket eat? So we'll write the cricket eats grass. Remember to circle your period, capital letter, And here we have our TH brothers. Okay, write number two when you're ready. Number two says, what might animals eat in a marsh? So a cricket is an animal, but it's more like an insect. So when they say animal, they're talking about what do animals what do bigger animals eat in a marsh? So the frog eats the cricket, right? So we can write animals eat other animals. Animals eat other animals. And they also eat plants. So animals eat other animals and plants. Period, capital letter. Okay, remember to pause it if you need time to catch up. Okay, under the number one and number two, we're gonna quickly draw the food chain using a circle. Kind of like a life cycle. Okay, actually the circle would not work. That's for life cycles. We'll use a flow map instead. That would be much, much better. So in the first box, 
We'll put in a little number one. And we're going to draw the first step of the food chain in the marsh. Let's look back in the book. Remember the first part was the tall grass? Okay, so let's draw some tall grass. There we go, tall grass. Then you can draw an arrow to the next box. Number two. So who eats the tall grass? The cricket, right? The cricket eats the grass. So we can draw a little cricket. And just try your best. Does not have to be perfect. And my head, my little body. The cricket has six legs. Little eyes. There we go, there's my cricket. Okay, another arrow to show the animal that eats the cricket. Write a number three in the corner. Remember who eats the cricket? A frog. So we need to draw a frog. I think I'll just draw his head. There we go. And he has some little little dark parts on his face. So you could add some more details if you want. And you can even label your pictures up at the top. Okay, that's our science for today. You can draw a little squiggly line under your boxes, under your flow map, and leave room for tomorrow's lesson. Make sure you take a picture and send it to me in Class Dojo or Google Classroom.